back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube, and in today's video, I'm going to ponder the question of, yo, do y'all watch makeup tutorials or not? Nah? Like, we're, we're gonna ponder that. But I'm gonna be doing another eye look from the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I picked up a two new YSL lip colors that I'm hoping, I haven't tried them out yet, the packaging looks pretty, the colors look pretty, I haven't tried them out yet, but we'll see together, I guess, <laughs> so keep watching. Okay, I am putting on my Fenty primer, which I wish I would have put on before I did my intro because to give it hmm, almost a minute, maybe less than a minute, maybe like 30 seconds for it to set because if you do not and you just go be all fast and putting <laughs> eye primer on before it's ready, your eyeshadow is going to be patchy. But despite having to wait for it to set, it is a nice eye primer. I'm going to start off this look with Ginger. Right here. Um, so a side note, there is a post on my blog which is going to be linked in the description box that um, where I listed 17 eyeshadow combos that you can do with this palette. And it's at least 17 because if I kept going, you know, I could have had tons more. Yeah, I think I left the primer on. <laughs> Waited a little too long with the primer. It's okay. It'll still work. Um. At least 17 looks that you can get using this palette. So I like to start looks off with, you know, a matte beigey color because it helps to, you know, let the other colors come on through. Okay, so the brush I used for that was the Sephora Pro Crease number 10. And then just to get in the inner corners and whatnot, I just used the brush that comes with the Anastasia palette. So... I want to be pinky, purpley, so I imagine myself using pinker, big wig, wigglies, and ooh, let's do some Supreme. So let's go in with Supreme. This is the MAC 224. So yeah, I keep hearing that folks don't watch um, makeup tutorials on YouTube. Um, I haven't been on YouTube long. I haven't watched YouTube videos long. Um, but... You know, I enjoy, I do notice that when people do, um, to, like, quote unquote tutorial, it's not titled as a tutorial, it might be like a get ready with me, or people might be like spilling tea, or, you know, story time, and they do their makeup at the same time, um, yeah, I'm going in here with Pinker. So, just, you know, was wondering, I like to watch, um, makeup tutorials. Now I'm going in with the MAC, I think this is the 217 brush, but the number rubbed off. Um, now I'm going in with Pinker. The shade Light You. Okay. Um, I do tend to watch more um, <laughs> Walking Dead videos. And I watch like those t um, top 10 countdowns on, what's that channel? Watch Mojo. Like, that, that channel always gets me. No wonder they have so many, like, views and subscribers and whatnot. Um, <laughs> but I do like watching people put their makeup on. So, I don't know. You guys tell me what you like. And I like putting makeup on and talking about it myself. But, you know, you nobody wants to <laughs> go through the, you know, that effort and fighting with natural light and whatnot to, um you know, put out a video and no one's watching. It can be quite devastating. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more pinker here. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing my eye makeup, like I have an eye, well, I have a general makeup looks board on Pinterest. Like anytime I see something that's like, oh my God, that's so pretty, I need to recreate that. So I have that on Pinterest and then I also save things in, um, the collections on Instagram. I love having some inspiration. But a lot of times, like, when I'm going in to do an eye makeup look, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw some colors together, whatever. By the way, I have my Pinterest um, account linked in the description box, so you can follow me there and see the type of things that I pin. Okay, I'm liking. I'm liking. Um, this is the MAC 2... 
52 brush, this flat brush, and then we're going to go in with big wig, big wig. And I'm patting it down. Yeah, honey, honey, honey. Oh, I might even do, wait, do I want to do Wigglies or do I want to do Shookington? I might do Shookington because um, I used Wigglies in my first impressions video. Yo, this palette though is seriously the palette that keeps on giving because you know a lot of times these eyeshadow palettes have um color schemes where maybe most maybe you'll have like mostly neutrals and then you'll have like pops of color or um you know the the palette is based around a single color like maybe there's like um you know purples um different variations of purples and or maybe different variations of blues or, or what have you. Or maybe it's just like a straight up like neutral palette where you know you have mostly like, you know, you can create mostly neutral looks with. Or you have palettes where everything is like extravaganza and uh, a fete and, and parte and, and celebration. I have to say that this palette is quite versatile. Um, and that you can get so many different like color scheme looks going on so that's why I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I'll be on this palette for a while um I got a good response from people in my first impressions video this is the MAC 296 microfiber brush I got a good response from people when I said that I should do a um a blog post on the different color combos that you can create with this palette and people were like yes I love that because we need all the help we can get and said and the third and then I was like, oh shoot, you know what, maybe that's something I should do when I pal eyeshadow palettes come out, you know, going forward. Like, make that, like, a thing that I do. Which, yeah, I think I will do that. Maybe I'll even go back, um, see, the thing is I don't own a lot of palettes. And I get a lot of makeup in for review purposes, you know, through PR. But a lot of times, because I don't like to keep a lot of makeup, a lot of times after I'm done with the palette... You know, I put my review up or whatever. And it could be a great palette, but it's just that, like, I don't like to keep a lot of makeup. Um, I might give it away to a friend. But I'll see what palettes I have. That might, that'll be a fun thing on the blog. Because since I started uploading here more, <laughs> I've been... It's been hard, you know, trying to figure out... Because I used to put everything on the blog, you know? Because I didn't really do YouTube like that. I'm just using the 252 to put a little bit more big wig down because I want to be like mad purple yo and just going to diffuse yes honey okay I'm gonna go in with Shookington right here and I'm gonna do Shookington with my pinky just to kind of I might ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing shooking to my pinky because it's kind of it's like a glittery purple. I like that. <laughs> yes, honey. Purple is one of those colors that look good on all skin tones. Like regardless of your um your skin tone, your undertone, your eye color. Purple is one of those universal colors. But like a purple, purples like the, the purples that are in here, like this kind of purple and this kind of purple are pretty universal. Okay, then just gonna go back in with the, the 296. Ooh, I like that. All right, now the Laura Mercier smudger brush. I'm gonna go in with, hmm, I think I'm gonna do credit. Start with credit. I'm gonna put a little big wig underneath there as well. I usually put concealer in my brow bone 
to highlight, but I want to try Trust Issues up there. Um, but I kind of also still want to put the concealer first. All right, I'm going to highlight and contour and come back and we'll, I, hopefully I've made a decision on Trust Issues. Okay, so, um, I did use the concealer to, um, highlight my brow bone because I like how it like sculpts my brow you know I have not done a brow bone highlight shade in a minute but I was watching somebody's video and they did one with trust issues and I was like oh my god that's so pretty so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try it I haven't done it in a while I stopped doing it because I was doing a concealer and I liked the concealer better because it was more natural and um it carved the brow but I'm gonna do it with trust issues I'm gonna put a little bit just to see if I'm feeling it. That's nice. But I think I want to do just a little bit. Trust Issues is such a pretty color. It's It looks white, but then it's uh, dual chrome, so it's flashes gold. Really pretty. But I don't want to put too much. Oh, see, now I got more here than I do there. Now I got to even it out. That's really pretty. Let me, um, blend that a little. And I don't typically do an inner corner highlight, but let's, let's try a little bit. Because I got big eyes, you know? need to do a look with trust issues where trust issues is just like the glittery shade that's on my lid because I feel like trust issues can be really really like like a nice like night out special occasion um, look as well you know Okay, so here we are. I have highlighted and contoured. I am wearing the Blinx Minx Lashes in Side Eye. Um, I lined with Urban Decay Perversion. And you know, I have some mascara on. So now let's try these YSL lip colors. All right, so these are a water-enriched, lightweight stain that comfortably drenches lips in brilliant high shine color that feels fresh and non-sticky. So. It, they don't have great reviews, but I usually, you know, sometimes I don't go by what other people say. Sometimes I just need to try it out on my own. So I'm going to start with this pink one first, number 614. There's what the applicator looks like. Oh. I think I see why these got... <laughs> not so great reviews so it feels very cold and refreshing when you put it on um I thought this might have been a little bit more like a f opaque gloss kind of which I would have enjoyed more but it didn't really it didn't really do anything for my lips you know what trouble is this all right, we will try 605. Oh, it's heavily fragranced. See, this is a pretty color. I don't think I'm a, a lip stain kind of girl. You know, obviously if I put a gloss on over this, it'll, you know, it'll be nicer. But I don't like to buy lip colors that don't work on their own, you know? You know, I don't mind mixing lip colors together to get something new. But I don't like to buy lip colors that just don't work on their own. Unless it's like that clear, like a clear gloss with like shimmer in it that I want to use as a topper. <laughs> it 
It's pretty though. I'm just not into that look. And I'm sending these back. <laughs> so I put the Fenty Gloss Balm and Diamond Milk on top of it and I'm rather feeling it. So yeah, a, a gloss like this and maybe like a regular like clear gloss because I bought one from the lip bar as well. Those are the only times I'll buy a lip product that doesn't work well on its own. I mean, I could wear this on its own. I wouldn't. But, you know, I ain't for the doctoring up things from the get. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me know in the comments. Um, by now, I think anyone who ordered the Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I feel like by now you probably have it. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Um, what looks have you done? Like what color combos have you done so far? Don't forget, check the description box. There'll be a link to where you can get my blog post where you can see 17 eye color combos that you can do with this palette. And also let me know, do you watch makeup tutorials? What kind of makeup tutorials do you like to watch? And, you know, just get all chitty chatty about that in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on social. The links will be in the description box. As well, in the description box, there will be links to things like, you know, my hair, the earrings. I'm surprised these earrings are still available. Because um, they tend to go, you know, pretty fast. And I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye, guys.